Hello, beautiful people. It's Taja D slash Styles T once again here to talk to you about your torso, your breasts, your chest, that area, and what you can do to either accentuate it and make it look all fabulous or either play it down, um, which is really up to you. This is why it's very important that you take the seven day challenge so that we can decipher whether or not it's a sh you want to show them off or you want to camouflage. I also encourage people to dress as they feel. So you don't feel the same every day, then do something different. Sometimes you show them off, sometimes you hide them. I do. Keeps a little variety in life. For the um, larger um, sized women, uh, that would be a 36C. Anything above that, 38, D, double D, triple D, E, double E, F. Hey, all you guys, I know you guys out there I used to be a double D. Uh, yeah, so frame is small, but I had double D. So, yeah, guys used to talk to them a lot. It's really interesting. Um, so now they've gone down as I've gotten older, and I'm like, yay, thank you, because they were heavy, and my bras were very expensive, which brings me to my first point. If you have a large bust, you must have a good bra. Okay, there's... Okay, there's cradling, there's pushing up, whatever it is you feel most comfortable with, it needs to support very well. Not cut you on the sides, which means that your number is either, uh, you've been given a size that's too small, um, you need to make sure you're nice and secure, you have enough fabric to truly hold you, your elastic is holding you up, and your straps here are wide enough not to uh, affect anything else, because I've heard also with um, heavier breasts, and I know from experience, a smaller um, strap here can give you issues later with the cutting off of circulation, sometimes headaches, uh, migraines I've heard even. So, voila, make sure you have a good bra. Um, and also, when you're going into the store to go buy something, um, I know it's difficult. I know I've been into Lane Bryant and had people... Give me the evil eye because they were like, why are you here because you're skinny? Well, 34 double D's is not very easy to fit at all. And it's not easy to find something that's nice. And usually the bras are no longer pretty when you get to double D. They're usually beige, black, or white. This is quite sad. And the underwear is no longer pretty as well. Yes, I know, ladies, it's hard. But make sure that it fits. Right, because you want to have that nice hold so you can have a nice presentation in your shirt, whatever shirt that may be. When you're going to go buy your shirt, I want you to not have um, sides of phobia. Yes, that's, I call it sides of phobia. And that is when you are afraid that someone will say, well, what size are you wearing? You say, well, I got a large when you really need to buy an extra large. If it's not fitting here, it's tugging, it's pulling, you're crossing your arms here, and you're feeling it, and it feel, you hear, which means some of your threads are popping, get a bigger size. It's okay. You can always try and make it fit in other ways um, that look nice on you, but at least have coverage in here and make sure you don't have your bra popping out. It's not really the best look at all. I'm sorry. It's just not. It's not, it's not a good look to have a bra out unless you have the most fabulous already, you know, decorative bra. It's not really cool to have just your bra out. Like, this right here is not really cool for me. Like, you need to, like, cover that up. See, that kind of thing. But especially when it's just out and it's just a regular bra and the tag's hanging out. And it's just, it, it's not really nice. So you should try and use a bra that's appropriate for what you're wearing. Also, very important, strap this bra. Something that doesn't have a back or a lace back or a see-through back. You should not have on a bra or put on another shirt of some sort underneath the fleece. Just not the bra through the lace. It's not really cool. Put a tank top on that covers up the bra straps. It looks better. Anyway, getting off the subject, ladies. Um, with the big boobies, sometimes you, you want to show them off. That's fine. You can always, always wear a cowl or 
um, a low cut as always it's easy when you have big boobs to show them off because they're already there so you know a v-neck or a deep scoop neck it's always nice to have cleavage i'm not really a fan of the uniboob which is when you have big boobs and you cover them up all the way across it kind of makes it into one mass instead of you getting your like at least seeing a little cleavage to make the differentiation it looks better to me but uniboobs are fine as long as you have support support you get into jumping jacks and it just go boing boing and that's it not boing boing pop no four boobs you have me coming up up here bra's too small you need to get a bra that's the right size adjust it pin it sit stitch it add somebody to put a couple stitches in it i don't know but there's the many ways to correct that problem get the right size it's really the cup is here and the um inches is around above the um around the back and above the um the breast that's the measurement so if you know you're getting cutting and all the rest of that stuff it's easily seen under your clothes which kind of makes the roll happen in the um bust part so you want to kind of avoid that and get something that gives you a smooth look across so whatever you put on you get smooth on the, on the top as well the sky opens to my prayer. I want to go to beautiful, beautiful. Hey guys, next time we'll be talking about um, the waistline, um, whether it be small, whether it be uh, a little bit, I don't know, varying in size. Waistlines are all over the place these days and sometimes we have to find the best way for us to camouflage or accentuate them depending upon who you are and what day it is and where you're going. Okay, so um, we'll go over again some of the important um, undergarments that are needed when you do not have a um, smaller waistline and um, as well some important tips to making sure that you have everything intact when you go out and you're confident. Again, this is about you being comfortable and confident. So uh, make sure you tune in. Thanks so much. I hope I gave you plenty of information. Um, that was useful to you and uh, see you soon. Have a beautiful day. Hey